Yes, oh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> good evening. It's 7 p.m. and we are here for another episode of Face It and Fix It again. Myself, Lucia, Jamie Hoyt, sorry, and Lucia Cabrera Jones. Awesome. Good night, good night, good night, every single one of you. We are here. It's Face It and Fix It time. And, you know, tonight is about to get lit. Tonight is <laughs> about to go down. Tonight, you cannot miss it. We are going to give Facebook the little time to do what Facebook have to do. But exactly. while Facebook doing their part, I want you to start doing yours. And you have to now, right now, start to share this live. Tell us where are you Tell your from? friends. Right? You Carla, yes. see if you online already. Yes. Yes, Amazing. welcome, yes, welcome, welcome. welcome Carla Scipio. Carla, let us know, where are you tuning from? <laughs> where are you tuning from? Guyana, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Atlanta. Awesome, USA, awesome. Barbados. Come on. Just let us know where you're tuning in from. And let me just as as it is customary. Rene, welcome, welcome. Good night. Yes, good night. As it is customary, let me just go on the page. I want to make sure that we are locked on, and I want to make sure that you guys are on the right place, on the right page. And yes, we are. We are definitely. So we have seen Carla is tuning in from Atlanta, Georgia. We also have Rene. Good night, Rene is training. Is tuning from 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 hmm. Trinidad and Tobago. Come on, in the house. <laughs> so we have we have a we have a special something tonight, ladies. We are not going to say that special something until you tune. We, have, <laughs> we need to have more people. I am seeing you, but I need you to tell us one. Where are you tuning from, right? Tell us your name. Tell us where are you tuning from, yeah. okay? And I want you to make sure to share, share, share this live. We have yes, Elizabeth. Welcome, Elizabeth, welcome. Elizabeth, Elizabeth here. Here. Come on, come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. <laughs> yes, that night. Yeah, keep that the energy night. up. Yes, Renee. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it's that time of the month, Jimmy. The last Thursday, I want you to take note of this. If it's your first time tuning in, I want you to tell us, let us know it's your first, first time tuning in to face it and fix it. Because if it's your first time, I want you to understand that you have tuned into a space where we do real very real here right <laughs> although we're looking glamorous yes we are we have our makeup but we do here very very real this program have been uh designed with you in mind right this program have been designed with you in mind to unmask to be real to bring forward those issues that yeah. are setting you back for reaching your divine God-given purpose. So tonight, Jimmy, the, the, tell me a little thing about this, this theme that we choose for tonight. Tonight is going to be an amazing night. We're going to uncover, for some of us who may not know, we're going to uncover our purpose, how we uncover our purpose. We're going to understand why we do the things we do, you know, and... We're really going to tune in and, and really figure out what is that burning passion, that, that thing that is burning inside you that you can't, every time you go to sleep, it's on your mind. When you wake up, it's on your mind. We're going to figure out what that is, right? And, you know, just between Lucy and myself, we, we will share our own purpose and our own passions as well in the hopes that this can bring some light to you and it can awaken you and awaken your purpose in your life and your journeys so to get started i want just to you know i want this to be as interactive as it's as it could be you know we are custom always um having interviews with our yes. guests but tonight is about the two co-founders which is jimmy hoyt and myself and a little bit about women you know um a lot of things, great things, I should say, Jimmy, have been happen happening with the organization lately. Yeah. And, you know, 
on the hype of all of these good things, I want our ladies, you to understand that nothing could happen without purpose, right? I want you to say it again and, and, and have it in your mind. Nothing could happen, happen without, without purpose. purpose. Every single person who God chosen to give breath, right, is with a purpose. Now, what happened is, and, and I like it always to put it like this, even before we get into the, the, the point of how you go about finding your purpose, yeah. uh, what is purpose, what is passion, what I could tell you is, even for our own experience, is that um, once you have purpose, you have to find and fuel that purpose with passion, yeah. right? Let me say that again. Once you find your purpose, we are going to see what is your purpose. Once you find your purpose, the easier way to accomplish your God's given purpose on this earth while we are transitioning here is to fuel that passion, that purpose with some passion. passion. I always say it like this. Purpose without passion leads to procrastination. Purpose so without in, ladies. passion. So <laughs> come on. Purpose so without in. passion leads to procrastination. procrastination. So, uh, Jimmy, I mean, we... we Tonight, we, 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 we're looking at us as, as, as examples, but um, I also want to let this out there. Purpose is never about you, but it's about others. Let me say that again. And if you are right there, I, I just advise you to get some people on this live because many, many, many women today they have not moved forward, although every single one of us have purpose because they lack in that emotional component, yeah. which is that passion, which is that desire, which is that motivation, right? And sometimes we're just looking for this component in strange places. So women is about the merging of Jimmy Hoyt and Lucia Cabrera Jones, the two co founders, the merging of our purpose and the pushing of that purpose with our God's given passion. Jimmy, tell us more about that. <laughs> and as you stop off there on passion, I would like to also bring in what is your talents, right? Because uh, you have purpose, you have passion, but you have to have talent. What is that God-given talent that you were so blessed with, right? Because once we know what is that talent, we will push that purpose and that passion will push onto that talent, right? And then you know exactly what, what is your purpose in life? What are you designed to do? What are you put here for, you know? What, what is your passion? What really gets you up in the morning? What really gets you going? What really gets you ticking? And I'll share this with you, right? So just a little story. Um, just when I, you know, was coming out of the university, I wanted to be a teacher. You know, I said I wanted a to be a teacher. And the reason why I wanted to be a teacher is because I wanted my weekends. I did not want to have to go in on, you know, and work during the Saturday and the Sunday. I wanted that time to be my time, my relaxed time. And I say, yes, I want to be a teacher. I want to do this. I want to, you know, have my vacation, July, August vacation. I wanted that. And today I'm not a teacher by the Ministry of Education of Trinidad and Tobago. I'm not a teacher. I will say that. But I fill out my forms. You know, I gathered all my documents. I have all the documents printed there, all seven copies. You know, they wanted to duplicate it so many times and bring it in. I went to the Ministry of Education about two times 
two times I went to the Ministry of Education. I got my teacher's registration number, right? But if that is not your calling, <laughs> if that is not your calling, and if God didn't write it to be so, it could never be so, right? But what I can say to that, ladies and gentlemen, is that no matter how something is achieved, once it is for you, it will be achieved, right? Because I'm not a teacher in the Ministry of Education in Trinidad and Tobago, but I'm a teacher on the woman umbrella. I'm a teacher on the, my own brand. You know, and I say that to say because it's something that is very passionate in me. I want, I love dealing with, teach, with children. I love expanding. I love sharing. I love giving of myself. I love teaching and educating others, right? And because of whatever stumbling block that I couldn't get into the Ministry of Trinidad and Tobago, you know, I created different avenues for myself to execute upon what it is I love to do. So I just wanted to share that with you all because that is where purpose and passion is. And again, I'm really, really passionate about teaching and educating and sharing with everybody I come across with. So I'll pass it over to Lucia again. And I think that, you know, I think that God makes no mistakes because uh -oh. I am actually into the teaching on the, under the umbrella of the Ministry of Education. I actually have taught at uh, different institutions in Trinidad and yeah. Tobago currently still at the university of the west indies where we have i have been teaching for a number of, of of years right and and i think i always say these connections are, are always divine you know ladies uh you know we deal with women but as i always put it out there we are not a feminist organization we are yeah. welcoming every single male who actually brings something on the table for the fulfillment of women purpose and we have talked about that so many times you know that yes we cannot do it on our own right remember in the beginning god makes men right but he said we have to find a suitable help right and he brought us on board with men so that means that we still need the figures of our men actually to fulfill our god's given purpose yes this is not totally a agree. solo preno work this is not a solo preno um <laughs> uh, journey we need them also so you know uh recently uh jimmy uh Awesome things have been happening with women. Uh, we have been connecting with so many women, not only locally, but also uh, internationally. And that is one of the reasons that uh, we wanted to talk today because we don't want that no one uh, feel that uh, when you do something and when you see all of that passion behind what's happening in women is just because, yes, we love what we do, but let me tell you this right purpose also have to be birth right i have no babies i have no kids <laughs> right but when i'm talking about birth you know god put something within inside you, of they, you. They deposit something inside of you use it use it you will not bring nothing to fulfillment if you just sit there on your talent on your god's given talent on your god's given purpose right and uh, i don't want to sound here too much of, of of on the spiritual spiritual side because this program is just neutral it's for every single uh women out there for every single person out there but think about this why you why you even through and i want to go a little deep now i want to go a little deep now even every single thing that happened with us through life have a purpose yeah let me give you a little Definitely. bit of my story which i call it now a little sweet sad story uh as a woman i've been through a lot of things yeah. right a lot of traumatic things that for me at some point of time was like god you really really forgot about me 
God, why I am going through all of this? God, why are you putting me in these uncomfortable situations? Why are you putting me in these uncomfortable positions? Why I am suffering so much? I have been good. Yeah. I try my best every single day and live my purpose with the best of my abilities, of course. We all make mistakes. Yes. But let me tell you something. Even within the mistakes that we make, right we are building on accomplishing our purpose every single mistake right we are building in accomplishing our purpose i was telling someone this morning we have a, a, a group chat and, mm -hmm. and i had to do my devotional this morning and right you know i was asking god what to share what to share and god took me to habakkuk chapter two two to three and just paraphrasing it, God say, um, God was answering, right? And and, and 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 the verses start like God answering, God responded to Abacob. The first thing that you have to have is an answer, right? But before the answer, you must ask. Yeah. And a lot of us do not know our purpose just because we don't ask God. <laughs> Act very, very important. What very I am important. here for. What I am here for. Why me? Why I'm not a twin? Or why I am a twin? Why I am a triple? Why I am going through this? Tell me. You first have to ask a question. The answer will come. But hear how he answer. He say, write the vision. Write it. So, you know, sometimes... As Carla was saying, as midwife, and as I say, you have to birth our, that purpose. You have to birth it. Sometimes it's inside. Sometimes you don't know that you have that talent because you have never been exposed to an environment that pulled that talent from you, right? And uh, our talent is very linked with purpose. A way to discover what is your purpose is what you are very good at. Exactly. What comes to you naturally. What is so difficult for other people to do that is coming so naturally to you, right? That is a way to discover what is my purpose, why I'm here for, why I get up every single morning. And he say, write the vision. The next thing is that we lose track. And when you lose track, when you look to the left or to the right, right, you lose track and you get distracted and then you lose track of your purpose. Right? So when you're trying to find your purpose, you have to be so, so strict in the mm -hmm. way that you go. But now we're talking about igniting that purpose. Yes. Igniting that purpose. And you said something very, very important um, before, Lucia. You said you have to ask. Right? Sometimes we, you know, go about our daily lives. We go to work. We go to school, we come home, we cook, we deal with the children. And before we close our eyes in the night, we lie down on that bed and we are confused because we're just going, you know, like a robot doing random things. But we don't know what is really our purpose. What were we put here to do? You know, we just know, all right, we went to school, we studied this, we do that, we do that, and we're moving through. You know, because we survive in, we in survival mode, we move in through. But you might see something that's shining in the corner there that want to pull you away from this routine. And that might be a purpose, that might be a call in there, but you don't know how to access it. You don't know how to reach it. You don't know how to grab it. You don't know how to get to it, right? And it's very, very, very important to ask what it is how can i get it how can i achieve this you know um one of the things to uh, i i always tell my sister um you know like when your back is against the wall and you know you might think well yes i'm praying i'm doing this i'm doing that and i'm asking for a resolution but your back is against the wall and nothing is happening eh? um there's this point you would reach. I don't know if you know, Lucia, if you know it, you should know it. 
there's this point you reach where it is like you can't do nothing again you can't do nothing but throw your hands up in the air and say intercede or do something for me at this point and it's that point sometimes when you get that that answer that answer you got it like I, i've seen it so many times i've seen it so many times you know you're going through it you're going through it you're going through it but at that very last hour that night hour you get that resolve you know it's so true with your passion and your purpose push through you know don't just stop and say something is blocking something is blocking you don't know what is blocking push through and once you push through you'd find out exactly what it is right and even piggybacking in what you're saying you know before i even make a next comment i want that every single one of you let me let, let us let us let us greet some people yes, here yes, we have yes. we have we have rainy we have rainy good night good night rainy we have elizabeth francis good night elizabeth we have carla carla cpo good night carla we have karen del ayers Good night, right good now. night. I'm seeing more people. Uh, we have Doniel. Oh my God, Doniel, our <laughs> lawyer. She was the, 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 the guest for last last uh, month. Crazy. And that was a blazer. A blazer. You know, Jimmy, piggybacking in what you were saying, and also um seeing this purpose birthing through the concept of a midwife, right? Sometimes you need help. Yeah. And uh, I strongly believe that one of the purpose that God has with women is to create that environment, like if you are in, in the labor room, right? With our program that we just finished uh, on the 25th of March was our, our graduation, the Thrive Women Business Development Program. I mean, this program was like a midwife room. Awesome with analogy. So you awesome. saw a lot of small business owner entrepreneurs who was stuck, literally stuck, and uh, the environment, the networking, you know, the fellowship within the program, it makes a lot of them to rebirth that purpose. You know, as you nice. say, sometimes you just nice. get stuck. You just have the purpose inside, and it's like uh, uh, it's like a baby that the baby is growing, but you just there. You know, you don't know if you're feeling a movement. You don't know nothing. And when you reach to the room, they tell you push, push. <laughs> you don't have to come out. Push, you have to come alive. Push, push. You get tired. You yeah. get discouraged, but you go again. Breathe. The midwife is there. Breathe. Come on, come on. Breathe. They're massaging you, and I believe that this is the environment that women own media and education network is creating right now for our female entrepreneurs. It's, it's a wave that God is even using right now, of, of, of using women to help other females. To birth that purpose. Some of them, I mean, the, the, the testimonies are amazing. Some of them had even give up in their businesses. Yes. I mean, so much talent and you giving up. No, come to the mid, come to the room, come to the midwife room, which is women owned media and education. <laughs> and it. the most prominent thing that you will find here is passion. Let me switch now a little bit to passion right before i switch i want you to have get this in your mind purpose is not about you purpose is for others purpose is about impactation purpose is about impacting purpose is about emptying your talent to put that talent to work for other people okay. emptying your talent to use that talent to push other people to reach their goals to reach their purpose exactly. to reach their talent that is purpose and Corindel is saying i can testify as i was awesome. <laughs> yes. and now passion is that midwife passion mm -hmm. is that midwife passion is that thing inside that say huh i have to get up i know i could do it i know i could do it and if you know the bible right the what the one i read as i always like to say because i respect every single uh, yes. belief and every single religion say that david used to encourage himself 
Why? Because David knew that he had a purpose. Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe David, when he was a, a little shepherd, before the prophet would have come, he didn't know what was his purpose. He was just about his merry business with his sheep. Right. But for the time that the prophet came and say, mm, none of this, call the last one, David knew what was his purpose. And David worked on his purpose and you know, it was not easy. But he was straight, his eyes were straight in that purpose. Yes. And I said this to say that when you have purpose, whatever it takes, God is going to bring it to pass. Like you or not, because we are placed on this earth to fulfill a mission exactly. called that purpose a mission. Right? So this mission will be accomplished. This mission has to be accomplished. But now, how it is easier if you go to work and you go to work merry, jolly, if you go through the, your eight hours of work uh, with a better attitude than if you just go, oh, I have to be here. Mm. <laughs> but that eight hours turn into 24 hours one time. I, I, saw, I saw something that Steve Harvey said. He said, from the minute you wake up, and the first thought you put in your brain, your brain and all your electrons and neutrons going to make that thought go throughout, go with you throughout your day. So if you get up with a negative thought, everything in your brain is going to rewire. Oh, today is a, is a negative day. You're going to get up. You're going to fall down the stairs. You're going to get up. The rain going to fall and wet you. So it's like you tuning yourself into that negativity but if you get up every morning and say i am happy to be here i'm happy to be alive everything is working out for me your brain is rewiring to make that day a positive day for you and nothing is going to come in between of that to make that a negative day for you regardless if something negative happened you will see it in a positive light and that is that is that is so correct because there is something called subconscious and uh, yes. I mean, in spite of the fact that a lot of people on the more um, religious belief, they have their opinion about conscious and subconscious and, and the teachings. Let me tell you something. And they have the, 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 the views about meditation. The word of God tell you, meditate in my word day and night. And I could tell you, Jimmy, and I could tell you, ladies, on the years that I have been uh, receiving this teaching in leadership, right. uh, mentorship, the years that uh, even we in our separate careers have been teaching women and dealing with women, uh, there is there is nothing, ladies, that is not linked to the spiritual life that you have. Nothing. Every single teaching is derived from what God has said. They could call it any name. Right? They could call it any name, but everything is connected with that. God said, if you meditate in my law day and night, it will stay here. Mm. Right? So, if he say, if you think about good things, good things will go, come out. Exactly. Right? Whatever you put within you is what is coming out of you. Why not to make and collaborate and, and help our purpose to yes. come out faster. Just put a little bit of passion. Just put a little bit of passion. Lucia, where, where, I, where I find in passion? <laughs> encourage yourself. Now, if it's so difficult for you to encourage yourself, maybe because you're not reading, maybe because find an environment mm. that is conducive for your labor. You have to push, you have to push. You cannot do it on your own. Find an environment that is conducive for that labor. Mm. Women on media and education network. <laughs> awesome. I'm inviting every single one of you because I think this is this is one of our distinctive assets. Yeah. And mm -hmm. is that we had that ability. And tonight is co-founders night, right? <laughs> we, have been selfish. we have been here every single month giving yes. every single woman that have approached us 
uh, that opportunity to share and, and this will continue. But you know, seeing the fact that things are happening and people really approaching and asking how these things happen, how these things happen, uh, you, you all making it so, so easy. No, your purpose will not be easy, right? Because remember your purpose is not about you. You have to, you have to be your best version to be able to impact. You have to go through your best trials, your, your hardest trials and come out as a diamond, right? And I'm a chemical engineer, I could tell you. Mm. A diamond take years and years and years to be formed. And a diamond is not formed on the surface. A diamond is formed on the pressure, on the shaking, stretching, contracting, high temperature. But guess what? People pay a lot for a diamond. Exactly. And a diamond don't have the choice to say, do not pressure me. <laughs> do not touch me. Do not shake me. But the diamond have to go through it Depression. at the end of it. Is diamond. Beauty. So at the end of it, when you wear your diamond, you're shining. Everybody wants you. Everybody desires to have you. Everybody wants to pay whatever Ever. to have you. So let me just put this into context. You have no choice but to birth your purpose. It's not, as long as you are alive, you have to connect with your purpose. You have it. Have, haven't you discovered it? Ask a question. Mm. Go in your meditation. There are a lot of individuals who are professionals that they could help you to discover your purpose. But let me tell you this, nobody could impact passion on you. Let me say this again. Nobody can impact passion on you. You have to find this passion by understanding your purpose. From deep down, from deep down inside and within you. Nobody will ever believe Jimmy that this individual here once upon a time was hiding to preserve my life and i like god why i am going through this have i done so bad right but uh, what is what is what is god using that for oh i could tell someone how i am still alive how i am still a survival how i went from being a victim right from being a survivor and we yes. learned about that in our last session. So I strongly believe that my purpose is what I am doing now. It took God 50 years. Yes, I am 50. <laughs> and I always say that proudly. And now, I, as I said before, I have been in so many, um, in so many platforms, in so many podiums, in so many yes, forums. Yes you know, talking in, in, a, in a professional capacity as this leader, as this woman. But now, all what I went through, part of my right. purpose yeah. is to impact. <laughs> it's not about me. I cannot stay in the shadows crying. It don't happen. What am I bringing out of this? Right. My purpose. It took me a while to be in that midwife room, right? But you know what? I say, I have to encourage myself. I cannot die. And this is where one of the mechanism, at least for me, because you know, we always give tips, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Lucia, where you get that passion from to know my why. For me was, I have to leave my homeland. I have to leave all my family right to make a betterment not just for me but for them right and uh, that built my passion that built my, my 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 desire to stay alive that built my desire to to show people to show the women you could do it you don't have to die you have a choice are you gonna stay seated are you gonna stay put and let this purpose die with you are you nope. going back to your maker with it, he send you here with that inside of you, but it, but it, 
but the longer you take to really love because passion is about emotions right it's about that vibration the longer you take to love what is your purpose the longer it will take you to birth it it will be hard knowing that i could do this you know mm. i know how to do this you know but and looking at people doing it and you sitting there and nothing is happening wondering you. when you will start how to start crying you don't know how to procrastination, you know? <laughs> procrastination. Purpose without passion leads to procrastination exactly. i want you to keep sharing this life i want you to keep sharing this and i want to hear you know jimmy uh we want to do something ladies and we want to invite you let me say this first because this has to be with the little order, right? <laughs> if you are there, we are going to share the link so that you could come in this broadcast with us, right? We are going to put this right there in the chat, right there where you're watching us live. Now, you have to have a very good internet connection <laughs> so that we could be able to, you could be able to come in the broadcast and you have to have, you know, all, all, all your thing. You could use your phone, you could use... And, and of course, I, I am giving you some time because if you want to come and you're now in your bed and you are comfortable, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to move you from your comfort zone and just throw something on you and you come in, in camera uh, looking, you know, uh, not sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to do that. We want yeah, to share. Bless us. Bless us tonight and share with bless us, us tonight, so. and passion. Uh, we are going to take at least two. We are going to take at least two and... Um, I am going to be putting this uh, this link right there. Uh, of course, we are using a platform com called StreamYard. We are using a platform called StreamYard, right? And if you have anything to share, the link is there, right? We are using a platform called StreamYard. It might take you a little while to get in, but I could promise you that the first two persons who actually make it into the broadcast will have will have an opportunity to share with us you know their story on how their passion have linked to their purpose and have birth or you could share or ask if you're still in that midwife room and, and you don't have the strength to push yeah. you know share with us a little bit share with us and i want you to right now Keep sharing this life because I'm sure that somebody's going to bless. You are going to bless somebody, maybe with your story or uh, what we are sharing, actually going to bless someone. And let's see, uh, Jimmy, I want you to give me uh, some of some some more views in even connecting this passion and this purpose with the work of women. How 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 you? Tell us how you feel about this, how this has impacted you. You know, I know you have a lot of experience. I have known Jimmy for over 10 years now. And after so many years, we decided this was the moment. And this happened because it's part of our purpose, right? So tell us, Jimmy, tell them, give them a tip. How are you able to wake up every morning with your hectic schedule and still have that drive to go 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 to me i i think we are on the topic of purpose we are on the topic of passion and really and truly you can't get far or you can't do much without that passion and that is how women was booted how women was started through that passion because if it was left for money it was left for anything else we wouldn't be here today you know um it's because of that raw passion because we heard the cries of the woman in the, in the labor room because we heard that you know so many persons want to be financially stable want to be um you know sustainable want to contribute within the household you know and we we've heard what women are saying out there on the ground, grassroots women, you know, and we decided to form this platform, Women Own 
Media and Education Network. You know, um, entrepreneurship, let's start there. That is one of the things that, you know, we see fit where women can share their talents, share what they have to offer and be sustainable, contribute to the household. And that is where we started. You know, we're not just about entrepreneurship, but that is just one avenue to get us to where, you know, we want to, where we want to go, where we want to impact, you know, women who we want to impact, right? Um, but when it comes to issues of women, challenges of women, there's so many, a plethora of issues, you know, we want to be that platform that we can say, hey, let's lobby let's advocate let's get our friends here there and everywhere to come and provide solutions to women and these challenges that they're having but yes it definitely has to have heart and passion because sometimes it's not just about okay you put two hours today and you're good for the rest of the week nope it's a constant constant going yes you have to recall you have to oh take my that God. Time yourself. You, we have somebody in the back already the first person we met there, there. <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, welcome again oh my god i get to meet I, you, I, get to meet you. I, I just had to jump on because oh. like i was having a conversation with my colleague about this some time ago and I remember um, someone saying to us that we are too passionate and we take things personally. But that's how you get, you are effective because you, when you find your purpose, you are passionate about it, you're excited about it. So I, I took offense by when they make those statements. So I want to tell persons out today, whenever you find your purpose, you are excited about it and you'll have that passion and the drive to do it. So when other persons find that you are too much or over the top, they need to take it down because they didn't find their purpose as yet, you know? So I said, let me just come on and share that advice. No, I really you love this. Introduce yourself point. because we know you, but we have new people oh, here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hi, my name, is, my name is Danielle Jones. I'm an attorney at law and I love women. I want to encourage everyone once they have time, once they have events, Come out today, you know, Lucia, you know, you my girl. We met once and that was it. And I'm meeting Jamie for the first time. And it's the same drive. It is nice that you all can bounce off of each other. So continue to do your work. And there are a lot of women who do that. I do DV matters, family, custody matters. And it doesn't only involve women alone because sometimes there are men who are the brunt of that not being allowed to be a parent. So I try yeah. to bring some sort of balance to it, you know? So y'all continue to do your thing. I'm looking on, right? <laughs> thank yeah, you I so much. And thank you for giving us that even, point. Danielle, <laughs> even before you leave, right? I want to I want to ask you something. Even in your work on your work of line, on your line of work, because you are an attorney at law and you have to deal with a lot of matters in your in your area of specialization, you have to deal with a lot of what we would have called depressing matters, right? Women who have been abused, men who have been abused, people who are depressed, you know, it, 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 you have to be in the middle of the conflict, right? And I believe, and you know, your purpose is to bring a conflict resolution. Now, Danielle, how you feel yourself, Give or, tell us you, how you actually find, and you, Danielle, this is this is unprompted, right? How Danielle find <laughs> Danielle every single morning, knowing that you're coming to face this depressing environment because, cause of the, I mean, your clients will come bombard you with a truck lot of problems. How Danielle manage to keep it so passionate? Right. So firstly, you have to have a spiritual source, right? So when I get up in the morning, I remember one of my youth leaders in my teenage life will say that every, it must be that every time you get up off of your bed and your feet rest the ground, the devil must be vexed because you're out here to do good work. And I take that each day as it comes. So you try to forget about what happened yesterday and you move on. 
The next thing is having a good support system, family-wise and friends. So you have those persons that you could go to and say, yeah, listen, this is what happened to me today. No, you could believe that person did that to me and you're all fluid, right? And uh, um, they will give you, you know, and you want friends that can give you positive criticism because sometimes you're wrong and you don't want to hear you're wrong, but I have friends who will tell you you're wrong, right? And will give you um, different avenues and different angles on how to deal with stuff. The other thing is never stop learning, like have your mind open to things, right? So I may have a perspective or something. And if I go and someone has another perspective, you know, I would say, I didn't think about that. And I gave an example, like I had a client, like I went to a matter representing him and judicial officer showed up at me in front of him, right? And I didn't say anything. I was just one of those days when I was just quiet about it, but I was vexed. So when I left the courtroom, I just walked out and I didn't say much to him. I said, well, don't remember, yeah, June day, whatever, whatever. And then he said to me, he said, he said, Ms. Jones, I want to tell you something because she did it on the last occasion as well. He said, um, don't take that um, shout down as something bad, you know. Judicial officer is just upset that you know more law than her. And I have, and I say, what stupid is this man saying? Because I like, I was vexed. But when I got home, I, on my way home in the map, see, I, I sat and I said, you know, he made a lot of sense because I was just trying to point you to what the Court of Appeals said. I wasn't really trying to tell you because I, I, I don't expect you to know everything. Similarly, I don't know everything. I was just pointing you to an authority where they made a decision. They are higher court than you made this decision. So this is the law. And you shout up at me for that. So I was like, you know, and it's only when he said that to me. So don't ever feel that a lay person can never give you that sound advice you know so that's all i have to say so those are my tips thank awesome. you so and very thank much. You so much daniel daniel <laughs> is brave you know as it is and as i said daniel was our our guest speaker uh, on, on last month last face, that he brought it so real so raw and uh, of course uh, uh, we are not surprised that daniel you would have jumped on because you are really, really passionate about what you do. You are passionate about bringing resolution. You know, that is your purpose. But uh, the difference that it makes, uh, and I, I want just to try to make a guess here, right? Uh, thinking about a lawyer. Uh, when you are really passionate about the matter, I think it, you could bring resolution faster, healthier, right, to the matter, a faster closure, right? And... Uh, um, it is all about the passion. If you just there and say, well, yes, I study this. Yeah, well, I'm mm -hmm. good at it because I eat the books. But uh, you get yeah. somebody who says, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But when you bring that, when you bring that energy, and, and that is what passion is about. Passion is about that energy that flow from inside of you. Something that, but now we have to be careful because passion channel in the wrong direction could lead to destruction. Let me say that again. That Pass is true. And we, have to, and we have to soak that one in, in as well, yes. yeah? Soak it in. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Soak it in. Passion channel in the wrong direction could lead to destruction. Why? Because passion is about emotions. It is. Passion is about your emotional side of things yeah. so in that, that regard you know i i think i mean i am loving this discussion as <laughs> always we always get more than what we ask i mean and daniel thank you thank, thank you so much for jumping being. on yes <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you for having me you all yes, take care I'll be, I'll be same to you bye-bye <laughs> Hi. Well, let us see. Jimmy, who we have there? Who you see we'll there? We'll take one more. We'll take one more. One more. So we have Malaika. Malaika on shore. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight, Malaika. Um, Malaika, tell us where are you tuning from? And I just saw Ali, Alex Jones pop up. Also tell us where you're from. Alice, tell us where are you tuning from? And Alice said, love that. Love that. And let, let us go through some comments here. Yeah. Um, oh, Alice is tuning in. Oh, Malaika is tuning in from Barataria. Barataria is in the house. Awesome. <laughs> nice to have you with us tonight. And let us go through some comments here, Jimmy. Um, Elizabeth, uh, say, read it, Jimmy. Passion challenges 
what is channels in the wrong direction can lead to destruction. Yes, powerful. Powerful, powerful, Very powerful. powerful. We have here Aline. I'm Valencia. from Valencia. Oh, Valencia is in oh, the house. Valencia. Valencia is in the house. And remember, ladies, we still have uh, some more couple of minutes. The link is out there. We have 10 more minutes. If you have a passion for sharing with us tonight, you know, remember. What's the link again one more time. The link went up. Yes, yes, but yes. Let me see. It. Let me see the link. Where where is the link? Um, we are going to post that link. Okay, look it right here. The link is in the screen. And remember, if you want to share with us tonight, you know, you could come in the back room and we are going to put you live. We want a powerful testimony about your purpose and your passion. And remember, remember, if you talk trying to bring forth your purpose, you have to tap into the midwife room. And Women on Media and Education Network is an organization that have been built, birthed, and created with you in mind, with our women, right? From any creed, any segment of life, right here there's no discrimination not by race not by your texture of the year not by the color of your skin not by your belief right not by your opinion every single opinion here matters to us and we our purpose is to impact your life through our journey our well, journey it. have been given to us because of you. Yes, Jimmy. Me like her make me laugh. Yeah. She said when she come on here, she will share her passion. <laughs> oh, come on, Malaika. And I, I believe, I believe I know Malaika. Malaika, if it's you the Malaika, I remember you're here always looking beautiful. And she <laughs> so Malaika, the link is there. If you have a good internet connection, jump we on. Are not, we are not going to look at your hair. You are beautiful already. Let's go. <laughs> You could jump on and you could come and share with us. We have um more couple of minutes. I want you to I want you to keep sharing this live. I want you to keep sharing this live. I want you to keep helping women's out there. But in I the meantime, also, hmm? in the mean no, I was gonna say in the meantime, I will looking for someone to jump on so that we can close out. This yes, call. yes. I want you to can share also the link via via WhatsApp. I want to invite everyone on the call to our pop-up market yes. that is happening on Saturday. Before Lucia mentioned that we had a six-week program, Tribe Business Women Development Program. And now we had the opportunity to showcase all of these businesses that were at the Tribe program. So on Saturday from 6 or 9 to 6, at St. Joseph, we're going to have a pop-up market and we're welcoming all of you to come and patronize all of these businesses that would have been in that Burton room, that would have shined through with their passion. And now they have their businesses to display and to offer their products and services to you on Saturday. So we welcome awesome. all of you to join us at that pop-up market in St. Joseph. Uh, we, have, um, we have here... Carla saying you all need a virtual pop-up pop market. Pop -up market. I love it. Yes, 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 Carla. I love yes, it. Carla. <laughs> and, and you know, hear how purpose work, you know, ladies. Um, you have hear me mentioning mentioning Carla a lot. And Carla is someone that God purposely plays in our life. God purposely plays Carla in the midst of this organization. I don't want to disclose no more because I know that at some point we will have color in one of our faces and fix it. Yes. But what I could tell you that the purpose of God always find a way to be fulfilled. And is the passion from women on media and education network who lead to this connection. All I could tell you is that Miss Carla Spicio is a born Trini, 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 Trini to the bone. Now she lives in Georgia. And from Georgia, all the way us here in Trinidad and Tobago, 
we are about to break a great collaboration with Kala Organization. Kala Organization is also a nonprofit organization, and she does amazing things with women. As a matter of fact, uh, she has an outreach to help women in the Caribbean. And of course, she has a, a, a passion and a special interest for the, the women in Trinidad and Tobago. That is just to tell you, that is just the little testimonies of things happen behind the scene with women, yes. right? Remember, almost in closing, if we don't get nobody, you mean you could <laughs> share the link via WhatsApp with somebody, you know? <laughs> Join the movement. Get into this birthing room. We have the midwife here who have gone through the process and we adding on our group. We adding, we growing. Why? We have been able to identify our purpose. For me, I get to identify my purpose through my trials. Mm. That was my, my, my way to do it. I ask a lot. I ask, I ask, God, why me? Why this is happening to me? I didn't do it that bad. Why, why, why? And my answer was all the time saying like, uh, something will come out of this. Yeah. Just go through it. Do not abort it. Stay in the midwife room. Stay in that room. Stay connected. Go through your motion. And mm -hmm. one day, when I was just able to tell somebody, what, that? No, you have to hear my story. And then this started to just unlock. It was like a, a reaction chain. It was like a reaction chain. We have somebody on the, oh, we have, we have <laughs> Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, nice to have you, Carla. All the way from Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. Come Bless on. us with something, Carla. <laughs> okay, okay, I got two. Let me show this one there. I had that one time, so I had to turn it off. I had my cell phone, I had one in the background, and I had the stream yard too. You know what? I, I just couldn't sit there when y'all talk about passion. And you know, Lucia, you were talking about your why, and Jamie, you were talking about what you wanted to do, what you wanted to do. But you know, that's not what God had in plan for you. Or maybe He do, and on a larger scale, not just the church, yes. so <laughs> the church not Tobago, but globally. But I know for me, I was like you, Lucia. I was asking God, why so much pain? Why am I going through all of this stuff? And I realized it was enabled me to identify with other women around the world and feel what they feel so you know when you look at someone you can see you can tell their pain you can tell what they've been through and then their faces the way they carry themselves so you can identify with them and you know how to help them yeah and i believe that's why my passion is working with women and girls no matter where they are you know around the world so i think that's just my little two cents on <laughs> um, on passion more to come, more to come. <laughs> but, but Carla, Carla, I want you to tell us, you know, because you have to give us some tips, right? Remember, face it and fix it is not just about our stories, but about sharing how we overcome it. I mean, we are not professionals. Tonight is co-founders night. We're not bringing a specific topic like we have to be experts on something but we're just talking about our own life how our purpose had aligned with our passion and why women is at the place that it is even as a little baby right even mm -hmm. as a little baby uh carla for you i mean i know one day we this platform is open for you to actually share even more you know a segment just on carla and and, and, and carla what you are doing but tell us carla you talk about your pains and you was just like me asking god why how actually you kept going why carla didn't shut down what made carla keep going going and how be doing the overcome, amazing things yeah. that you are I, doing right i had now. a purpose i had hope my hope was in the fact that my mother said something to me as you know she went through her struggles and her thing was she said, I asked God, my prayer to God was that I would live long enough to see my children grow up and be taken care of. Mm -hmm. 
And when I became a single parent and everything was on top of me, my thing was, if not me, no one could love my children the way I love them. No one could do what I could do for them. And that's what kept me going right. until I became an emptiness and everybody dispersed. So that's when I had to spend time with Carla. And I think that's one of the first things that we have to do is spend time with ourselves, yeah. confronting ourselves, looking at ourselves. When you talk about passion and purpose and the pain, okay, God, so why did you allow me to go through all of this stuff? And one of the first things I did, somebody said something to me, they said, Carla, you're still in love with, with your ex. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I started thinking about why I was doing the things I was doing because I was stuck. So I had to take a journey all the way back to when I was a little girl to see what, and then come back forward to see what happened to me to derail me. What happened to me to change my perspective? What happened to me to put me in the place I was at that time? So um, spending time with yourself, that would be my first thing to tell any woman, just being quiet. Because, you know, we'll be so busy, we don't have time to just sit down and be quiet, Lucia. So it's just being quiet. And that could take us into a whole another topic on self-love that we will definitely bring to this program. And I'm seeing the comments, you know, persons talking about introspection is key, um, confronting yourself, you know, self-examination. So we will definitely bring a topic on that. But we appreciate, really, really appreciate, yes, you know, the you contributions so tonight from you, Thank Carla. you so much for being with, with us right, tonight, thank you guys. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. <laughs> So you mean we we are running out of time? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. we only on have on and on and, and on, and we have our, our audience right there. Nobody is moving. Nobody is moving, and this is awesome. So, ladies, in closing, you have heard uh, powerful testimonies tonight. You have heard uh, the the purpose of women, mm -hmm. the passion that is driving women, and let me say this again. Women is that birthing room for many awesome. women, not only locally, but also internationally. We had Suriname, we have now the US, we have other islands in the Caribbean, and uh, we rescuing women one at a time. Remember, your passion, your passion is your emotions. Is you, how you bring it about, how you encourage your, yourself, but your purpose is not about you. So if you have been placed on this earth to fulfill a purpose, it must be fulfilled. What are you missing? Right? What are you missing? Are you missing the environment? We are here for you, Women on Media and Education Network. We always say this is not about Lucia. It's not about Jimmy. It's about the purpose. It's about the impactation. Impact. It's about what we went through, what we're still going through, but having that courage, having that passion to overcome whatever obstacle. It's like if you are in a race, you're racing and you, you have the obstacles, but you have to reach that finish line, which is your purpose. Yes. And you do whatever, right? So if you are an athlete, you have to train yourself every day. You have to train. You have to be there. You have to be there until you reach the accomplishment. Exactly. Do not leave this earth and carry back your purpose with you. And your talent. I can tell you that is not going to happen that is not going to happen control your emotions because your passion channel in the wrong direction could be very very dangerous even for you exactly. right and i want to leave with you all that achieving your purpose it's a journey you know and it requires your dedication your hard work your perseverance you know so keep focus on that journey you know um, keep focus on your purpose and take small steps every day towards achieving it. 
um, and Sima, like I can say, I wonder how we can expose women's in prison to this. Hmm. Uh, Malik, Malika just reach out to us, uh, send us a private message, and maybe we could have a conversation and, um, yeah. you know, we could have a conversation and, and see, because this is for every single woman, no matter where you are. So if is the will of God, if is in the, in the roadmap of our purpose to reach to the women who are in prison, it is going to happen. Yeah. We could guarantee you that. Once it's in our purpose, it is going to happen. All what we have to find is the channels to do so. Because we actually work uh, also with the migrant community right here in Trinidad and Tobago. You know, I would have met Doniel at, um, at an event that they have, mm -hmm. you know, on behalf of the migrant community. So we're doing also things with the, with, with the minority groups as well. We are doing plain work with the grassroots we always say in this platform we love the queens but what we want from the queens is to impact into the lives of the grassroots because every single one of them is a queen to be discovered so jimmy we run out of time and i mean this passion can yeah. take us to you know late nights but um <laughs> We thank you so much. And I, so you know, I want to take this opportunity even to for thanking uh, Jamie for, for being a, an awesome team player, uh, for being an awesome co-founder, for being an awesome director, for trusting. And say to you as well, Lucia, that firecracker, that fireball, <laughs> girl. I just want to say again, be there on Saturday. We're going to have so much yes. fun. It's going to be amazing. And we're going to support all local women. So it's Saturday. Saturday, we are going to be from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at um, St. Joseph Police Jot Club. This is in St. Joseph, right opposite to uh, St. Joseph College, right next to the Catholic Church. From 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., tell everybody, come to our social media, right? You will see all the flyers. You will see the announcement. And see you there. Ladies, we love bye. you. We love you tons. Enjoy the rest of the night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>